time today. Today we're reading Dot and Jabber and the Big Bug Mystery by Ellen's Toll Wash. Wonder if you've solved any mysteries with your families or if you've ever seen any bugs you didn't know where they came from and maybe that was a mystery. Dot and Jabber, the mouse detectives, were looking for a mystery to solve. They walked the meadow and stopped to watch some bugs. The mice thought they heard something. They turned to see, and when they turned back, oh, the bugs had disappeared. How is the jabber? The bugs vanished. Poof! They must be around here someplace, said Dot. They couldn't have gone away so fast. Then they're invisible, said Jabber. I can't see them at all, and I'm looking. Come on, Jabber, said Dot. This is the mystery we've been looking for. Let's find those bugs. We need to look for clues. I wonder if you have any guesses of where the bugs might be, where bugs hide. I'm going to come in close and see if you can see any bugs hiding over there. Dot, listen, Jabber whispered. I think I hear one. One what, said Dot. One clue. Shh, let's go check. The mice crept over the hill. It's a sparrow, Jabber said. No wonder the duck's bugs disappeared. Sparrows eat bugs. Not me, said the sparrow. I was going to find some berries. They don't vanish when you want one. And he hopped off. Hmm, where did those bugs go? Now that this pair was gone, said Dot, why don't the bugs come back? Hmm, where are those bugs? They're hiding from the toad, said a rabbit. Toads eat bugs, too. Where's the toad, said Dot? Hiding from things that eat toads, said the rabbit. I don't get it, said Jabber. Everybody's hiding, but I don't see any place to hide. Hmm, I'm going to come in close. And see if you can see anything hiding on there. Maybe we don't know how to look, said Dot. Let's keep searching. The bugs can't be that far away. They're watching us, said Jabber. I can feel it. I can too, said Dot. I'm going to come in close and see if you see anything watching them or anything hiding. This gives me the goosebumps, said Jabber. They can see us, but we can't see them. I wonder what else is watching us. What else might be watching them on that page? Hmm. Dot caught her breath. Jabber, quick, something moved. I don't see it, said Jabber. Look, said Dot, it's moving again. I'm going to come in close and see if you see anything. It's kind of hard to see on the computer. Maybe something over here in the green. Oh, sorry, something over here in the green. Do you see anything there? Some butterflies rose from the meadow and flew away. Wow, butterflies, said Jabber. I think butterflies are a clue. They were hiding in plain sight, and we didn't even see them. Maybe the other bugs are hiding in plain sight, too. Oh, said Dot, do you mean like they're pretending to look like something else? Let's go see if you're right. Dot, said Jabber. Do rocks breathe? Of course not, said Dot. Then I found Toad, said Jabber. Did you see Toad right there? Hiding behind the rock. Jabber, said Dot. I found the bugs. Oh. Yeah. Jabber, said Dot. I found the bugs. Shh, said a grasshopper. You're right. Dot, there are lots of bugs here, said Jabber. We just needed to know where to look. And there's lots of bugs, and you can see there's some that are hiding in the grass. And there's some on top. And there's some over here in the, in the rocks, too. They're all over. The grasshopper sighed. Go ahead. Tell the toad where we are. Tell the whole world. What are a few bugs, more or less? I'm out of here. Wait for us, said the other bugs. And they're all leaving together. Well, said Dot, the bugs have really disappeared now, but not before the great mouse detective solved another mystery. Dot looked around. Jabber, where are you? Try to find me, said Jabber. I'm hiding in plain sight.
Did you see where Jabber is hiding? And that's the end of the book. Thank you for joining us. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.